Hi, my name is Jared Stone, and I am a senior technical curriculum developer here at Jitterbit. Thanks for joining me for this micro learning where I'll show you how to leverage Jitterbit's powerful and agile connectors and activities through the Jitterbit Harmony Cloud Studio. Today, I'll discuss how to integrate and update data within a Salesforce instance seamlessly. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to use the Jitterbit Harmony Cloud Studio to show you how to quickly configure the Salesforce bulk update activity and create a very basic operation using that connection. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to configure the Salesforce bulk update activity. Okay, so remember the Salesforce bulk activity, what that does, that updates a large number of existing records in a Salesforce endpoint. Now, these are going to be used as a target to consume data in an operation. Now, after you configure that Salesforce connection, you can configure as many Salesforce activities as you would like for each Salesforce connection. All right. So what we're going to be doing over here, uh, we're going to be updating a couple of accounts I have within my Salesforce org. So. I've got like this Jitterbit training example, and then I have the green pickle in. I'm going to be updating these, okay? So updating those records from a file that I have over on my FTP, this bulk update record CSV. So what we'll do is start by configuring the Salesforce endpoint activity. We're not going to be configuring the endpoint itself. We've talked about that in some other uh, Jitterbit Basics tutorials. So check those out for information on configuring those endpoints themselves, but we're just focusing on the activity today, okay? So I'll go ahead and click into the Salesforce endpoint on the connectivity palette on the right-hand side, scroll down to bulk update, and then I'll drag and drop that over into the design canvas area. So once I do that, you can see the operation is being built for me, okay? Or it's starting to be built. So Maybe we'll say something like SFDC bulk update. All right. So we'll detail into this activity. And you see the name here, bulk act, uh, excuse me, bulk update, which is fine, but you could change that if you wanted to. The thing to keep in mind is that anytime you're naming something, whether like in this case, an activity or an operation, a script, um, a project, it really doesn't matter. You always want to use your organization's best practices as far as the naming convention goes, but you want to do it in a way that if you're the sole Jitterbit administrator, that you understand what you were doing at that particular time. So naming something very informatively, very descriptive, that's going to help. But also if you're in a team work environment, that's going to be very helpful for you and your team members. So you can effectively and efficiently work within your projects okay so moving on down to the object that we are referencing is our account so we'll select that and click next and then what we'll do is provide a new schema and let's just call this test one and we'll just call it dot csv that's fine I'll copy in my sample there and we can see that the scheme is valid so if something was off it would let us know there and then we'll click next so you can see here that I'm going to be doing some mapping of headers so I can leverage the auto map feature in the bottom right to map a few of these automatically for me now what is that based upon well that's based upon the similarity of field name so you can see the ones that are highlighted on screen here ID phone and fax well those are automatically mapped because they are the same as far uh, as far as it going from the source to the Salesforce fields okay so the others I'm familiar with those field names so I'll start to uh, filter those out by using this upper search area here on the right hand side and you see all of my other fields that I'll be mapping to so billing was what I was filtering by so we'll take address over to billing street city to billing city state to billing state, zip to billing postal code, country to billing country, and then I'll search name, which is where we'll take the company to. Okay, so 
all of those fields have been mapped. Everything looks good. Go ahead and click finished. All right, so now I need to read those couple of records from that file that's over on the FTP. So I'll come over here to the FTP endpoint, click that, and then select read and drag and drop that over to the uh, operation area. Okay, so if we double click into this, we could rename that if, if needed, but the main area we want to focus on is the get files area. So if I jump over here to the FTP bulk updated record, Dot txt. That's what we want to put. So bulk updated record dot txt. We'll click next there, then click finished. The last thing I want to do is come over here to the components tab on the left hand side. And what I'm going to do is reuse this write to operation log script. And basically it just lets me know that the the operation's been completed, that information is written to the op log. Okay, so now what we'll do is go ahead and deploy this, all right, sending that data to the cloud. All right, now that was successful, and then we will execute or run this operation. Okay, so you can see in the bottom left hand corner here of this uh, operation, the status will update. So here in just a moment, it's going to let us know if this was successful or if there was some sort of failure that has occurred. And you can see that we have a success with info. So we could click that and do an expansion here. And then we can see that a couple of records were processed successfully. So if we come over here, back to our Salesforce instance, you can see the Jitterbit training example, and then also the green pickle in. Those are the two uh, records that we were updating and you can see the green pickle in is now the red tomato in and just below that we have that new Seattle Tech that was just a moment ago the Jitterbit example account okay so we can detail into that we can see all of the new information one two three tech way which is the new building address of the company along with the new phone and fax for deeper training opportunities, please check out our learning platform, Jitterbit University. You can access this at university.jitterbit.com. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is that you will need an enrollment key to access the training content, and you can get this information from either your customer success or Alliance Manager. Well, I want to thank you for joining me for this micro learning. I hope you found the value in this tutorial and seeing how simple but powerful Jitterbit and the Harmony platform is. Well, until next time, take care.